In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an origami rabbit designed by Nikki Day. This is what it looks like. We begin with a square sheet of paper. We turn our sheet of paper so it's right side up. Our first fold is going to be a valley fold, which is going to half the paper horizontally. So we're going to take the bottom edge and we're going to fold it to our top edge. We're now going to open up our model and we are going to fold the bottom edge to our central crease. We're now going to turn our model the other way around. And again, we're going to fold our bottom edge to our central crease. We're now going to take the bottom half of this edge and fold it to our central crease, producing a diagonal valley fold running from here to here. We're now going to do the same on this side. We're going to fold this bottom edge here to this center crease here, producing a diagonal fold, valley fold running from here down to here. We now rotate our model and we do exactly the same on this bottom section here. We now rotate our model like so. Now we're going to produce a valley fold which is going to run vertically from this corner here down to this corner here. Same on this side. We're going to do a valley fold which runs from this corner to this corner. We now open up our folds that we just performed and turn our model over. On this side, we want to perform a squash fold. We have a crease which runs from here to here. This becomes a valley fold. And then this becomes a squash fold, like so. Similarly, on this side here, we lift this flap. This becomes a valley fold crease. And then we perform a squash fold, like so. Turn your model over. And we do the same on this side. We open up our flap, perform a squash fold. Same on this side, lift our flap up and perform a squash fold, like so. We then turn our model over, like so. At this point here, we are going to do a valley fold from this point, like so. So at the top, we have the two pointed corners. On this side, we do exactly the same. Push this point here, that point there. Make sure these two corners take out like so. We now rotate our model again to the other side. We're now going to fold this edge 
to our center line here. We're going to fold this edge to our center line here. We then take our model and we take this edge here, this center edge here, and we fold it to this vertical crease here. Likewise with the bottom section, we take this edge and we fold to this crease here. We then make a valley fold crease running from here to here. Now this crease lies halfway between this edge and this point. So we can take this point, fold it to that line and make a vertical crease, like so. Similarly on this side here. We turn our model over. We now produce a valley fold which is going to run from about here down to here. It's a vertical valley fold. Now the distance that this valley fold lies from this crease should be the same as the distance between here and here. So we can just eyeball that distance, distance from here to here the same as from here to here, like so. We now make a fold, another valley fold, which will run from round about here to here. So this point folds in to approximately there. We now pick up our model. Now this section here, where these are the two rabbit ears, this section here, we need to do a valley fold, but not on this top flap, but on the flap which is underneath. Sorry, not a valley fold, a mounting fold. So we're gonna fold this back on itself, like so. Do that again. You can see it a side view. And fold this back like so. We're now going to do a valley fold from this center line here, like so. We're now going to do another valley fold where we see this diagonal line, which is the tail. Imagine a diagonal line which runs from, from there all the way down to here. I'm going to fold this flap up like so. We're going to turn our model over and do exactly the same to the other side. Imagine a diagonal line which runs from here all the way down to here. Do a valley fold from here to here. Turn our model back over. Now the head section. You can push these two out like so and produce the front part of the body of the rabbit like so. To blunt the nose of the rabbit, what we do is we take this point here and we fold upwards just a little bit like so fold it back then we invert our fold like so now if we hold our model like this we can then tease the ears open 
like so. And we can just score that crease there so it opens up. There's one ear, and here's the other ear, like so. We then pull these flaps so this section here points out towards you, like so. Likewise on this side, so they are perpendicular to each other, like so. And there is our origami rabbit. Thank you for watching.